and welcome back to our channel. Bloody hell is in one of them moods again today, folks. Yeah, well, we were we were only staying for a couple of days and we were going to go back and have the weekend at the static. But we thought we would go and surprise a couple of friends. Can I say something? And Happy holidays, folks. And have a look round the site where they're on because it looks amazing. Yes. What's it called? Townsend Farm. Townsend Farm in... Pem... Pembridge. Pembridge. Her Herefordshire. Yeah, it's only about an hour away from here. It's 35, we've paid £35 for the night with electric on grass. Yeah. Which is the same as what most sites charge at the, in the summer, so yeah. £15 so, too much, but... So Gary and Jill, we're on our way, but you won't know that until we get there. Yeah, because we and, haven't told them. Uh, I might be wrong, but I don't think anybody's vlogged this site. I've looked and I can't see it. So, no. maybe. We may be wrong, I don't know, but... Uh, it looks... Beautiful. Oh, stunning. Yeah, yeah. We have we have been meaning to go and see them for a bit now, and uh, mm. but we saw them the other week at our meetup. Anyway, we're going. But we need food. I'm starving. Come on. Bloody hell. Oh, look, you're very pretty. Shut up, Robert. Okay, well, crack on, people. Yeah, and sorry we'll about, leave this lovely rally. Sorry about the mix. In Shrewsbury. On, last, on Tuesday's vlog, because I did say I was going to do a cooking channel. Yeah. And But then, and I was going to put start it mm, Sunday coming, but Robert said, no, put it on Sunday. So it's before we even mentioned doing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I'm not being biased, but I think it'll do really well, because I don't like to say this, but you are a really good cook when you can be bothered to do it. So I'm hoping this... Uh, I'm hoping this little vlog she's going to do on a Sunday will, you know, prompt her to feed me more often. Well, if I cook, then you've got to eat it, haven't you? So that's why you want me to do it. No takeaways. <laughs> so we'll crack on, people. Uh, Shrewsbury, thank you very much for having us. It's been great. Yeah, it really has. Very noisy from the Shrewsbury flower festival yes something happened yes it is all got uh, evacuated a, yeah there was a bomb scare on but we heard the sirens for ages but didn't really think that much of it no 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 so yeah and then the I spoilt their day yesterday the daughter said did you see what's going on mum yes she does anyway i'll shut up yeah. I'll right we're gonna crack on people come on let's go get food you're in a funny mood today aren't you i'm excited about surprising somebody yeah come on let's crack on well, we're here, Townsend Caravan and Camping Park. Where is Sight it? and reception's right in front of you, look. Oh, I've got to look at that? Yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. I've paid. Have you? Yeah. So, yeah. so we'll go and... Uh... We'll go and check in. Oh, Robert will. I'm sat here. I haven't got any shoes on. So, yeah. Oh, you always have to do it. Always. It's your job. Go on. Chop, chop. Get done. Bloody hell, people. Got I am all done to I am. We've got to sneak in so they don't see us, and then we can just go around and go, hello. Bloody hell, stiffer on the board. Yeah, so there's nobody in reception. What it is, they've got a, a welcome book, and you just rip your sheet out with your name on. Oh, okay. And then you just crack on to your site. So, yeah, we're your site to your pitch. We're number 39. So, so we're number 39 and it's got here, look, paid in full. Yeah, because I paid using his debit card. Yeah. You know what it's like, men, don't you? Eh? No one does men are skinned. Yeah. Yeah, so. And they've even drew one there, look where we are. Oh. So we just follow it up, look at me there. Okay, we'll do that then. And there's all glamping pods by us. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one I want to say, this one here. Yes. It's like a an underground one, it looks really good. Yeah. Right, okay, I'll... Uh... We'll film the approach. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> Bloody hell, put your seatbelt on, Rob. Bloody annoying things. If I ain't got a bloody crash helmet on, I ain't got a bloody seatbelt on. So yes, apparently we follow this road up here. Lovely smile from that young lady. She obviously knows a bloke. She obviously knows a bloke with good looks. Yeah, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> so this is number one. So we just follow it all the way around. Just hope we don't see him. Who's him? Gary. I'm trying to hide. Yes, you like to get set up. And then sneak up on the little rascal. Bless him.
grass is kept very nice, isn't it? Nice and short. Good. Well, I'm bloody grass at the best yeah, of time. Yeah, we are on grass. They, they hadn't got any hard standings left, so we're on grass. Next to barn owl and woodpecker. So I'm going my bloody way? Yep, follow it round past the facility block, which is there. Oh, there's the things up there. Oh, yeah. We'll have a look at them in a bit. Yeah, definitely. Keep going, shall I? Yeah, keep going. Round to rat. Round to rat. Shout happy holidays to her. No, happy holidays. Talk Robert. <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> person. There you go. Nice light there. Yeah, I might as well keep the camera on, haven't I? So. You might as well, my little freckle. My little freckle. And I think we're over here on. I think. We're What's the number? What's the number? Number 39. Number 39. How do we know what number 39 is? I don't know. Oh, 41 to 42. So, yeah. yeah. So, we'll, we'll find number 39. And yes, we'll... so we found our pitch people. Number 39, and that's a fantastic idea because we've got taps as well and somewhere to chuck your grey waste. Behind us, we have got some little pods. Yes, so far, so good. And there's uh, another rare occasion uh, happening. Lynn is actually cooking something to eat. I'm doing beans on toast, that's not cooking, is it? <laughs> But it's more than you can do. Why don't they make toasters where the bloody toast fits in the bloody toaster? I know. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Excuse? No, shut up, Robert. I say, it doesn't take us long to set up, does it? No, but it should be in here, what? Two five? minutes. Done. Oh, five minutes. Ah. Oh. What? What? Oh, no. What? Sorry, it's just email. Oh, I got injured. Walk this way, eh? Aerosmith. Oh, okay. Yes, and you've got your bins just over there. And apparently there's a dog walk over there which we'll have a uh, go and investigate in a bit. Well people, this is another great site, well worth a visit. 100%, it's so well laid out, so pretty. Yeah. Facilities are amazing. Yes, so uh, we'll show you a quick walk around the site because we're always pushed for time. We are, and we've got to be off by 11, and it's quarter to 10 now. Is it? Yes. Let's crack on then. And if you're into fishing, beautiful. Such a pretty place. Yes. And the facility block is over there in the distance. Yeah, you've probably got to pay to fish here, but I don't know. It, there, yes, I did see it on the bottom of the form. Yeah, there are some rules up there, which we didn't read, but I don't know, it can't be much, can well, it, to we, fish? We weren't coming fishing away with Or this. maybe it's free if you're camping here, maybe, don't know. No, I think, I just want to show you this because I think yes. it's absolutely stunning. Cool. I don't know if anybody's in it. I don't think there is anybody no. in this one. Check this out, people. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. On top of it. Obviously been made into the hill. There's another one there. Absolutely beautiful. Overlooking the lake. Happy with it? I love them. They just are so gorgeous, so quirky. Toad Hall, this one's called. Yeah. Yes, there are three of them, not two. That one looks a bit smaller. Yes, and we've just noticed there's a children's play area, play area here, and it's uh, way away from the vans, if you know what I mean. So if you want peace and quiet, the kids come play over here. Don't bother anybody, which is good. And also, there is a fenced-in dog field. Yes, and it's a great uh, dog walk. I went on it this morning. Brilliant dog walk. So there you go. Immaculate, isn't it? Absolutely. Definitely. I know, like, when we go to these sites, and yeah, this, this is 100% worth a visit. It's so well kept. Yeah. And it's only cost? £35. £35, right, yeah. Your so. dogs are £2 extra, but yeah. Yeah. 
We don't agree with paying for dogs, but no. it's... I can't understand why sites charge you for dogs. No. Unbelievable. But there you go. Beautiful. So if you come out the site, turn left, it takes you into a beautiful little village. I'll just show you this sign. Across the road. There we go. That's exactly where we are. What? Yeah, apparently it was an old hospital. It was founded by Thomas Trafford in 1686. Man. I bet that's got some stories to tell. I bet it really has. Just to come here and see the beautiful buildings is worth worth a visit. Yeah, I absolutely mean, stunning. Did say on that sign back there, didn't they? The black and white village or some yeah. words to that effect, and where it really is. Yeah. Beautiful buildings. Man, that's old. Beautiful. Absolutely. And it looks like this street just goes on and on and on with more black and white buildings and yeah. they're so well kept and looked after. Yeah. No shops though, is there? I think oh. there's one up here on okay. the right hand side. But just the one. And apparently there's some really good pubs and places to eat. And it's a shame we've got to go back today. Yeah. It's another place we could wish we could have uh, spent a couple of days, but that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Well, we'll more than likely to be come, more than likely come back here. Yes. There you go. The King's House, calf, Sunday lunch, private functions. Beautiful building again. Now open for Sunday lunch. Shame we've got to go, but you wouldn't buy one anyway, would you? Let's have a look at the prices. No. There's no price. No prices. You know what that means, folks? It's expensive. <laughs> there you go. West Country Ales, 1760. Greek night. Yes, wow. Absolutely, wow. It actually looks like they've made a garage named after you. What? Pratt. Bloody unbelievable, folks. You got a pizza place? Five star hygiene rating? We've got a beautiful, what is it? Fruit and veg shop, bread over there. The village shop holiday and holiday lit. Oh, wow. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Some old houses there being uh, done up a bit. Yes, very nice. It's a lovely area. Yes, the, uh, the houses that are buried under the hill apparently are called hobbit houses. Yes, they are. So, it's a perfect house for you, isn't it? Unbelievable. You're calling me a hobbit? <laughs> How rude. No, because you, look, they are it's because you're little, they... isn't it? And that house will suit you. Well, you just couldn't get in it, could you? Believable. You're like your little hobbit house. Shut up, rubbish. <laughs> Townsend Touring Caravan Park. Beautiful place. And apparently, there's fresh fruit and vegetables in here as well, in that shop. Ah, okay. Is it an honesty shop? I don't know. It's shut there, isn't it? It is. Well, should we have a look? Yeah, have a look. We'll have a look. That is a shame. Yeah, they shut it due to uh, when we had COVID. Yeah, they shut the butchery and the farm shop down and they just haven't reopened it since COVID. And I would have thought it would have done really well because it's on a main road. Yeah, yeah. On, you know, on the edge of the site. Yeah, and everybody that, you know, is in caravans or motorhomes or tents or whatever, always want a bit of meat, don't they? Well, I was going to go in there and buy the some old meat barbie. for a, a Sunday lunch for when we get home. So, being as I can't, it looks like we're going to have to have a takeaway. Believe them. Right, people, what we decided to do, because a couple of our friends who we came to surprise, I've got a seasonal caravan on here, and we're going to go and ask them 
what they love about this site. Yes, their pitch is amazing. They've got like a corner end pitch and it's it's huge. Yeah, the size of the pitches is, yeah, like Lynn said, huge. Yeah, and then after that, we're gonna have to get back as I need to go and wash my hair. That's why I've got the cap on. Scruffy little git. Yes, but you didn't give me a chance this morning. It was like, come on, get up, let's let's get packed oh, up. No, let's I just get like ready. getting up, you know, getting things done out yes. the way. I mean, he's going empty in the toilet, like. She was on it. <laughs> More or less. So come on, hurry up, I've got to open this book, you know. Oh. I'm sure most of you feel the same as me. When your mini break or holiday is over, on the day it's over, you want to just get back. Get back out of the way. Yeah, but to me, they're the last Not thing, about. the last thing you do before you literally get in the cab is you empty the toilet, so that's it. So if I want to wee now, I've got to go to the facility block again. Oh, you've got little legs, you'll be all right. <sighs> Unbelievable. That's I'm not you... walking across the grass because my feet are just drying out. That's what your legs and feet are for, you know, to walk. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. That well, should be the last job of the day. Nah, I'm not wrong. I'm sure everybody will agree with me. So there you go, that's what you got on this side. Uh, woodland walk, mountain bike track, bike pumping track, amenity meadows, fishing lake, children's play area, dog walk, cider mill, games lounge, Wi-Fi access. And also, you've got a map there of different bike trails. Yes. I'll just show you the map in case you're into biking. Yes, and Robert, read the top one. What? Read the top one. Uh, suitable helmets must be worn at all times, people. Why should I read that? One thing while we're talking about bikes, um, there's quite a few of you that wanted to buy the Fafri's um, bike that we reviewed the other day. Yeah. And what what I think's happened to the people that's tried to buy it, you've gone onto the EU warehouse. So go back on uh, and go to the UK warehouse. They've emailed me back. I have tried to put it in the comment section. Yeah. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know about that. Yeah, so there you go. Bike trials and map. So this is Gary's seasonal pitch. All that ground is is for the year. Beautiful. Right, so this is Jill and Gary, our friends. So I'm gonna ask them the question, what do you love about this site? Why have you chose this site to put your caravan on a seasonal pitch? Well, I think it's fantastic. We've toured for years and we've just decided to, you know, finally put it on a seasonal pitch. This came up and we just went for it. Um, the so town is fantastic. It's an hour from an hour from home, and it's so quiet and tranquil. It's unbelievable. How much is it? It costs us two thousand seven hundred for the year. For the year. From. And we pay. We obviously March, pay March electric. The si March the sixth till January the sixth. Yeah. It's the full season. And your electric is obviously. Thank extra. You, extra. Yeah. I think we paid about 32p. So will, will you be coming back next year? Yes. 100%. Yes. So is that good then? 100%. Yeah. Thank you very Brilliant. much. Happy with that? Happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. So while we were here, we also met another couple of our subscribers and they've also got a seasonal pitch on here. So, so we'll go and ask them the same question. Yeah. See if he can come up with something a bit different. I like different folks. That's why I'm married the I old bird. Stay, I really want to stay in one of those hobby houses. I think they're awesome. Yeah, we'll have to find out how much they are first. <laughs> now this bloke's going to do his best, people, but he's a bit camera shy. <laughs> his wife has just legged it in the awning. <laughs> but I'm going to ask him the same question which I asked Gary earlier, and let's see what he says. So go on then, sir. What do you love about this side? Did you call you sir? Because you forgot your name already. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, basically, it's just it's so it's nice little places to walk with the dogs. It's great, you know. Um, Come on, there's got to be a bit I, more I, than that. No, I just don't really know. It's just lovely here, you know. It's nice. I'm gonna have to wind farm. him up a bit, people. He's slowing down. I'm up on the camera. <laughs> look at the enclosure they've got for the yeah. dogs. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. We got to have this for the dogs. But, uh... Well, they don't. Uh... Restrict you to space on this side, that's yeah. a fact. Cracking pitches. Yeah. Absolutely cracking size pitches. Yeah. And would you come back next year? 100%. There you 100 go. Yeah. Well, thank you for your we, time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You do a great job. Sorry about that, people. You cocked up. Sorry. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like pulling teeth. 
coche. <laughs> and there's Kerry in there, look. There's Kerry. Hiding from the camera. <laughs> Kerry, what do you love about the side? Oh, John, John, come No, come on, please. come on. Just come on. Oh, it's lovely and peaceful. He just said Dog friendly. Oh, did he? Oh, he <laughs> me out, <laughs> Brilliant. You've got to have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, and it's all staying on. Yeah. Oh, well. don't. <laughs> yeah, it's staying on. Well. It's time to leave, people. Yes. It's a sad time of the day. It's time to, to get him home and get him in the shower. Get to work. Yeah, back to work tomorrow. And then we are away next weekend with our grandson. We, we don't know where he is, but we're away. Yes, which would be nice. We haven't seen him for a bit, our six-year-old grandson. So, yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah, but going back to this side, what's it called? Uh, Townsend Caravan and Touring Park. No, Townsend Farm. Townsend, Caravan. yeah. Townsend, Townsend Farm caravanning park i'll put the link in the description yeah anyway it's well worth a visit people absolutely stunning great, and i really place. really want to stay in one of those hobbit houses yeah they look beautiful pub just down the road a quaint doors. little village yeah looks really really nice yeah people are friendly lovely yeah just great just shame about the weather for us today but mm. never mind we can't up the weather can we no so uh, on that note people always say our farewells so stay safe for the caravan as motor owners tend to drift subscribers on you. We still love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit.